What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another edition of Sports to the Wire. For those of you who are new to the channel, I am your host, as always, Rashid White. All right, let's get into the video over here. Sean Marks is some kind of an oracle, man, because uh, did he actually know this was actually potentially coming? Or the Brooklyn Nets medical staff or doctors he's saying, hey, you know, there's a propensity for for injuries with KD during, you know, being that his age and the number of games he actually played and the amount of wear and tear. And I'm just looking at it like, man, did he actually know something over here? Because, like, uh, it's like when he asked for the trade, there was no hesitation. But then last year, he begged him. He wouldn't trade him for anything. Now, all of a sudden, right now, um... He actually trades them with just no hesitancy whatsoever. Now, the Phoenix Sun owner, you know, I don't know. I think he just made a big, big, big mistake over here, man. I'm not saying that KD is going to be like, you know, is done or anything like that. But, you know, an injury like that, uh, I don't know, man. I'm going to have to, you know, if I'm playing basketball, that kind of, you know, kind of weans on my mind a little bit, man. Like, I'm, I'm going to be worried about, like, you know, can that actually happen again? And I'm worrying about fracturing or breaking it. So, does that really kind of uh, impact him in terms of how he explodes to the basket? I know he kind of finished doing his routine. But, I mean, he's going to be out for the whole four to six, or was it four to six weeks now? Probably missed the first round of the playoffs. Oh man, so I think we we you know us as Brooklyn Nets fans, uh, I think we dodged a bullet. You know, we're looking at Mikael Bridges, and I'm gonna do another video, uh, I believe right after this one or maybe later, um, saying that maybe he could be the next KD if you look. He look. I'm gonna break down the similarities in their games. So this is actually looking like a steal for the Brooklyn Nets right here, man, and uh, maybe worse than it's like. The Paul Pierce and Kevin Garnett trade from Boston to Brooklyn. I'm not saying it's that extreme. Uh, you were asking those guys to provide some spacing and leadership on the floor, not necessarily like, okay, you you guys got to be the 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 you know the glue to winning our championship. Now that wasn't the case right there, but I mean, Sean Marks, man, either he's an oracle, <laughs> like some type of a um, a prophet. Yeah, because I'm like, you know, 35 years old. We've seen the two knee injuries he probably he had prior to. You know, and I, I was like, the first one was a, a, a fluke injury. A fluke injury. Where Bruce Brown actually ran into his knee. And I'm like, hmm. I'm like, dude, I don't see that happening with Giannis. I got to, you know, look at more Giannis games and Joel Embiid's. You know, these, uh, you know, Jokic. I mean, different, different seven-footers. That, that, you know, like, I'm pretty sure, like, players fall down around their lower extremity extremity areas and they don't get injured like this. And Eddie Johnson, who I was I was arguing with, I called him to his show the first time when Bruce Brown ran into his knee. And he was saying then, this was last year, that KD was, like, like brittle. And uh, I got to call him up. I'm going to try to call him to his show again because now all of a sudden he's praising KD. Yeah, 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 yeah. But then last year, he had injury concerns and I was saying like it was just a freak injury, you know? So then he has the other injury this year and now there's foot injury, you know? So, um, I don't know, man. I really don't know. So, uh, I'll wrap this video up. Which, what do you guys actually think? Did we dodge a bullet? Did Sean Marks fleece the Phoenix Suns? Did the Phoenix Suns kind of know what they were getting into and, and gambling with a 35-year-old player versus two play? You see what Mikael Bridges is actually doing now. Um, uh, I mean, damn. I would have kept him. They won 8 out of 10 games prior to the KD trade. You bring back Devin Booker. You got DeAndre Ayton. Uh, then you had the other guys off the bench that's producing for the Phoenix Suns right now. I mean, I think they would have been a really, really tough out for any team in the, uh, but you know, you had something in Mikhail Bridges there, man. Mm. This looks bad, man. This really, really, really looks bad. And, uh, the previous owner, Robert Sarver, who you guys actually wanted ousted from the NBA. I don't think, no, I mean, he did, he wouldn't do this move. He wasn't trying to give up all these pieces. 
but uh timing timing is actually everything in life man everything so i guess we got out of it because this theoretically i don't know if it would have happened with the brooklyn nets if he was still here right now but um yeah we would have probably been in the same position number six the five or six seed maybe seven who knows with Kyrie and the amount of load that he had to take on he probably could have got injured and this would have been another wasted you know so I gotta credit Sean Marks and uh then came out yesterday they were actually extending him I'm like oh lord but then this KD injury actually happens, and now Sean Marks actually looks like a damn genius right now, man. But uh, let me know what you guys actually think in the comment section there. Um, again, is it luck? Just coincidence? Was it Sean Marks actually probably knowing this? And that he would have, you know, these type of lower extremity injuries, you know, or the, the doctors told him something? And I mean, or as should they actually have made this trade for uh, Kevin Durant, the Phoenix Suns, and how that's going to probably mess up their title window? Because who knows how long they can actually win without Kevin Durant with just Devin Booker, who's actually coming off an injury too. All right, so like, comment, subscribe, certainly share this video, and when you share the, the universe, certainly shares back with you. Peace.